I uh, welcome back to my continuing series of Trappist beers. Tonight it's from another one from La Trappe, and this is the triple. So we'll we have a look at the label. Let's see what it says. So it's La Trappe Trappist triple. The writing's tiny. A golden blonde Trappist ale with a white head. Fruity aromas of peach and apricot combined with a floral aroma. La Trap Triple is a classic Trappist, classic Trappist ale with a powerful and full flavour. In addition, this ale has a candy, sweet and light malty character. The aftertaste is bitter and slightly dry. Serving temperature 10 to 14 Celsius. And it's 8% ABV. It's a 330ml. It's my Trappist glass chalice. This is a 250ml chalice glass. Let's crack it open. So stone fruits, peach and apricot. There's the, the basic. The, there's no basics. Simple. But beautiful design. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Well, it's a bit cloudy on the poor to start with. It's quite active. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. Just seeing it for that angle. The carbonation is mental from the top of the stem there, the nucleation point. It's just absolutely... I'll, I'll hold it up to the camera to see if you can see that. That goes mental. Fantastic. That's keeping the head alive. But that is a beautiful, sort of a very slightly copperish amber, golden amber. It's crystal clear. It's absolutely gorgeous colour. Let's see what it smells like. Yeah, it's very floral. It smells sweet as well. Super fruity. Yeah, I think I'm getting those peach. But it smells like... Like... Uh, sweets. Um, what do you call them in America? Candies. Candies. Sweeties, we call them in Scotland. Oh my goodness, I could just sit and snuff that all day. Cheers, my dears. Ooh. It's very rich. There is that sweetness. It's not cloyingly sweet. But it's a sweet beer. I think it's one of the sweetest beers I've tasted, actually. But not... Overly sweet because I, I don't like that. It's very fruity as well. There's just the slightest tinge of bitterness to balance that sweetness. That is superb. That's really. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Comparing it with the, the double. They're totally different beers. So it's it's chalk and cheese really. I was going to say, is this better? I don't know. This is outstanding. I think it's better than the blonde. Let's break it down and we'll see if we can get a few, a, a bit of an understanding. I'm not leaving myself much room with my flags. This is a bel no, this is a Dutch beer, by the way. I don't know why I've got my Belgian flag out, my Scottish flag. Well, we are in Scotland. So, the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. And we'll look at the colour first. I don't know what colour that is. Depends how you look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. That carbonation is going crazy. I think that's maybe a four, something like that. Between a four and a six. It is, it is honey coloured. It's beautiful. The 
clarity is, is brilliantly clear. Uh, the foam texture, I'm going to say it's, it's fairly thin now. I'll pour it the wrong way. Is there a right in the wrong way? That was the wrong way. That is definitely, that's giving it an inch of quite mousse like foam now. Uh, the aroma alcohol. Oh no, the carbonation first. Special carbonation. I'm going to say it's fast rising bubbles. It's going absolutely mental. And yet it's not car overly carbonated in the mouth. The aroma alcohol. Not detectable. The hops. It, well, it's floral, but I don't know if that's the hops or the yeast. Uh, the malt aromas. Well, it's fruity, but that's that's not really that's no malt that's doing that, you know. I I can you say malt aroma. You know, I'm I'm going to say nothing. I can't. I, I I can't discern a particular malty aroma. The esters is banana and the apricot. Um, the flavour and aftertaste alcohol. I'll say mild. It is. There is a slight notice. You can notice it a wee bit. Hot flavour. I'm going to say none. Hot bitterness, none restrained. The malt flavour. This is so difficult to... I'll say caramel. It has a got a toffee-like sweetness, but it's more like a fruity sweetness than a, than a malty sweetness. So it's no, it's no pruny or roasty or chocolate or coffee or bready or toasty. Or, it's, 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 it's none of those. It's no flowery or grainy or biscuity. The malt sweetness. I'm going to say it's between medium and high. It's not cloying. Uh, palate astringency is low. The body's soft. Palate carbonation is fairly low, despite it going mental in the glass. The length finish, I'm still getting that sweetness. Maybe it's just on my lips, but I'm going to say long. The balance and drinkability desirable, style appropriate. I really feel unqualified. <laughs> To break this down, it's it's very complex beer, and yet it's simply delicious. Let's have a wee look on Untap to see what it says. The it's called La Trap Triple, and it's made a uh, by Beer Brewery de Konigshaven in North Brabant in the Netherlands. It's eight percent ABV. It's a Belgian triple. The IBU's 27. Friends check-ins 5 with an average of 3.9. Uh, That's on the low side. I mean, it's a, a not bad score, but everyone else has 147,000 check-ins with an average score of 3.76. I suppose it's long as it's above the 3.5. So the style guide, it's the same as on the bottle. A golden blonde Trappist ale with a white head. Fruity aromas of peach and apricot combined with a floral aroma. The Trap Triple is a classic Trappist ale with a powerful and full flavour. Definitely. In addition, this ale has a candy sweet and light, light malty character. Light malty. So that's why I'm not picking up the... The aftertaste is bitter and slightly dry. Descriptors are strong, sweet, smooth, fruity banana. Yeah. You're, you're getting that bit of banana on the flavour as well. It's strong, it's sweet, it's smooth. Strong as in 
I would say rich. I wouldn't use the word strong. There is strong, powerful flavours, but to me that means it's rich. So I'm giving this, I'm giving this 9.5 out of 10, because this is exceptional. It is absolutely outstanding. The smell is so that's beautiful. Fruity and flowery. And the taste. It's super smooth. But it's very rich. There's a lot of flavours. That's one to savour, I think. Especially 8%. You can detect a bit of strength there in the alcohol, but there is a wee bit of tingle on the tongue as well. After a while, but it's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dear. Sublime.